On board airline tonight, new cabin crew face a handful. Unless you ring him up. Check in, get a mouthful. I'm listening to everything everybody said and I'm still standing here waiting. And lucky old departures get an earful. You gotta speed it up and then you gotta slow it down. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. Some exotic booze There's a bar in Far Bombay Come fly with me Let's fly, let's fly away It's early morning at Luton Airport Today, check-in supervisor Jane Bolton is helping the older generation take to the skies It's proving easier said than done Since you've had the bags, could anybody have tampered with them? I beg your pardon? Have the bags been with you all of the time? My son? No, the bags. They've been with you all of the time. You mean this one? No, these ones. You've had them with you all of the time, yes? Oh, yes. Oh, Nobody's yes. asked you to carry anything for them today. What's the name we've got now? <laughs> do you need any help? Are you OK? So, uh, well, I could do a bit of Where are you help. going to? Uh, at Puffolf. Right, where are you travelling to? What flight? I really do. you got a flight ticket or anything? No, I... We are collecting our flight tickets here. Right, and where are you travelling to? Okay. We'll get a, get a cup of tea. That's all right, you get a cup of tea and I'll tell you what you have to do after this. Do you know where you're going to? Um, where are you flying I've to? I've forgotten. I'm oh. just trying to find the... That's your money in there, my love. I've forgotten the name of the airport. Don't worry, do you know who you're flying with? Applefolf. No, the, the name of the flight company. Oh, that's what I'm trying to find down. British Airways, Monarch? It's not British Airways, I don't think so. Oh, Easy oh, yeah. Jet? Oh, I did have the... Uh, so you've got French um, Franks in there, haven't you? Yeah, Are you going yeah. to France? Oh, yeah. Yeah, are you yeah. going to Nice in France? I, I don't know. All right, listen, you go and have a cup of tea and I'll go and find out the service there yeah, they're handing your group. We have a lot of elderly passengers, they all travel alone. Fair play, bless her. Let's go and find out where she's going now. Miss Bradley is, in fact, on a pilgrimage to the Holy Shrine of Lourdes. How many sausages? Oh, only one. At first, there's the small matter of breakfast. Tea, yeah. Tea. And toast. I've got toast there. I could have yeah, had a roll. Okay. Even God's army marches on its stomach. Okay. Uh, where are you? I'm just behind you, ma'am. Where, where are we going? Stove to the till, ma'am. Not smoking or non smoking? Oh, non smoking. Please. There you go. If I had my way, there shouldn't be any smoking or trolling anywhere here. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, wait a minute. I'll take the table. Next time I'll come next year. No smoking at all anywhere. <laughs> no smoking anywhere. <laughs> all right? Yeah, well, you've got plenty of time. It's only oh, quarter yeah. past 11. You've got an hour and three quarters early. yet. All right? Lovely. OK, then. I'll I've see got you later. I've got a nice band now, haven't I? You certainly have. Here. She'll be all right. We'll come back in a little while and see how she is. It is confusing, but... Um, um, uh, I would say, that, like that lady, she just come out of me there. As to say, they turned around and there she was there. Just as though, well, my guardian angel. Yeah, but if you let me speak to her, At check-in, all hell's breaking loose. 
haven't got oh, the authority to I haven't seen the captain refusing me travel. I haven't seen the captain refusing me travel. the captain travel. doesn't come through here, he's out well, on the aircraft. Air Can Kulunk has missed his flight to Amsterdam. But that's not going to get me to Amsterdam, is it? But they won't accept you, that's what I'm saying. Why won't they accept me if they're still going to be standing in that departure lounge? Karen just rang through our dispatch office, as she said to you on the check-in desk, they will not accept you. She didn't ring through when I was there. She was doing something terrible, but sorry, can't do it now. Yeah, but there was a Didn't ring through no one. Didn't ring no one. I didn't see her ringing anybody. There was a passenger there before you that also got refused travel as well. That's what she's saying. It's really sorry, so there's nothing I can do. I'm sorry, I want to speak to a supervisor or your manager. I want to speak to your manager then, and I'm not leaving it until I speak to your right. manager. Well, you should just reiterate what I've just said. Well, but I don't I'm care. Get... I want to speak to your manager. Yeah, OK. You wait there, I'll go and get yeah, the fine. Check-ins closed, the captain's refusing any more passengers, and Air Can is refusing to believe what's happening. I'm just Are you sure that just... your manager comes well after the plane takes off, Sonny? Because no, I've been standing here for a couple now. of minutes now she's and I'm still out waiting. Out. And there's a chance Sorry, of me getting on that flight. Yeah, yeah, you you we've checked back. in the Right, if you just go to the easy track. Time waits for no man and flight captains are even less patient. Yeah. I've been standing here for nearly 10 minutes. Yeah, but now, as I say, the flight I could have been in there. Because of the sake of 120 seconds, the time is taking you longer than that to get out of here. I could have been inside yeah. there, standing behind yeah. the last. Yeah, to say the flight closes yeah, but what's, 20 what's, minutes. What's the problem? Before. Two minutes. It's problem, not like 20 is, minutes. It's the not problem like is that we've minutes. actually asked and we have been refused. The captain will not take anyone else onto Why not? the flight because it closes 20 minutes before, and at that stage, so what? That so is your for final... the sake of two minutes, yeah, you're going to make me miss my flight. That is, that is the final cutoff point. It would be so much easier for us if we could get you on the flight, wouldn't it? I don't see what the problem is, is just give me the boarding pass and let me just walk through that door there. The captain has refused. We can't well, take him the captain with you. Know? How would the captain know? Because we have to know? ask him. Once you have to ask him flight... what every time a passenger boards on. Excuse me, Captain, do you no, mind if Mr. No. Mr. Smith comes on now? And Mr. Jones and Mrs. Smith, you know what I mean? You don't do that. I'll go there, I'll give you my booking reference number, but you give me my. You give me my confirmation That's and right, I go but through. But, but if I'm two minutes late, how the hell is a captain going to know if I'm two minutes late? You not unless you ring him you're up. You're not listening to what I'm, I'm saying. I've listened to everything you. everybody said and I'm still standing here waiting. I was ringing you from the bus at Luton Airport. Yeah. What, I rang what you. you. Did, what you did was you, you rang EasyJet. You rang the reservation. I don't know. Well, who do I ring? I've made my reservation with EasyJet. So who do I ring? So I ring British Airways and tell them. Oh, British Airways, I'm travelling with EasyJet. Do you want to let them know? I'm late. No, you ring EasyJet. It's the only number I know in my head. I'll let you know that. I'll be like, I'll give my name, I'll give my friend's name. Yep. I'll give all the details. I said, two minutes, mate. Just give us a couple of minutes. We're going to be there. Get to the desk. Sorry, sir, it's closed. You weren't the only ones refused. The passenger turned up uh, literally a minute before you, and he was refused travel. Say, what is this? You just have the money, ain't you? Ten pound. Extra ten pound each if you want to change the times, man. It's funny, isn't it? At EasyJet's nerve centre in Liverpool, dispatcher Kevin Reardon is about to show off his artistic streak. Boss Andy wants a map of the airport coloured in with felt pens to brighten up the office. Want all the grass in green and try and keep within the lines. See if we don't rip it. There's only one man for the job. Within the lines. What you see, man, is what you get, yeah? I've noticed. Now, that bit that was out of the line was actually yours, hadn't it? Yeah, I know. That's why I gave the job to you. We're not running out of green, are we? It's got to look smart, that. Hey, yeah. Oh, Kevin! <laughs> Just to wipe that off a sec. I don't believe this. This pen's leaking. Have you seen the mess you made out there? <laughs> Took me yeah, ages to get that map. Now I'm a prisoner now, I won't be able to find my way out. Do you do it again? Go on. Did you do that on purpose? 
And of course, this is our famous colour, orange. Priceless. Do you want to sit in a wheelchair and I'll push this? Back at Luton, and guardian angel Jane still has the lively Miss Bradley under her wing. Her flight to Lourdes leaves in ten minutes, but there's still time to give fellow travellers her special blessing. I'll do, I'll put her if you do the, uh... Yeah, do you want to step back, love? I'll put behind you. I've got you. Just go back. Just come in here. Get on camera. Yeah, that's it, you're in. Come on camera, put that flat down. I'm just going to put the flat down, she'll put your feet on it, all right? Try and lift your legs up. There you go. Are you the trolley? I'm taking you. <laughs> so now I've got to go to. Oh, no. Here they are, over there, look. Got her. Bye. Airports work in mysterious ways, and Miss Bradley is finally up and away. Automatic's got missing. I'm a little bit curious. They're now they're going to come storming in and do something really spooky. So I just like to be on, just in case. At EasyJet's HQ Easy Land, there's a new batch of trainees, and they're in for a few surprises. Tell me, what's the range of this aircraft? How far does it go? Just a small demonstration and exercise of some of the levels of aggression that can actually be shown in the initial stages of a hijacking. It's a serious, politically motivated hijacking. People will be getting the power by aggression. Former dispatcher Darren has realised a dream SAS, and is on the course. Try and remember that. SAS, speed, aggression, surprise. I didn't expect this, this much... Um this much training. I mean, you always think of them as uh, dizzy stewardesses, but I'll never, ever think that again. For Darren and his colleagues, the future's flight, the future's orange. But with the no-frills airline, you're either small, medium or large. I think orange is me. <laughs> oh, it is, yeah. <laughs> is that small or medium? Medium. <laughs> It's going to be too tight, otherwise we have a... Yeah. Yep. Seamstress, that's what I need. Good seamstress. You can get it tailored in, yeah. but don't forget when you're on the aircraft, you're going to expand and your stomach's going to... Yeah, but I don't... I hope I don't expand that much. <laughs> no, ding. Ding, and despite ding. all his orange, when it comes to nervous passengers, Darren's still a little green. Oh, I've never flown before and I'm really fr I don't know what's going on. I'm, my, 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 my wife got me to come on this flight and she's right. left me behind, but I just don't know what's going on. I'm really frightened. You have to help me, cos I think I'll have to okay, leave so the aeroplane. What are you, you frightened of? Well, it's all the noises. I mean, we haven't yeah. even left the thing, but there's all these clunks and clicks and everything, and I just oh, don't just like the idea. That's I mean, normal. I can see the door at the front's open yeah. at the moment, but it's going to be shut in a minute. I'm yeah. really worried about that. And no, I'm no, my, my... no need to worry at all. It's quite safe, mm. quite safe. What happens next? What happens next? Well, we'll be taking off shortly. Mm -hmm. um, we'll be cruising in about uh, 30,000 feet. <laughs> 30,000! I can't believe it! <laughs> It's two hours since Air Can Kulunk missed his flight and lost his cool. Undaunted, he's back. We're back for part two. Check in, brace themselves. Let's see if they can handle me this time. Uh, I'd like to do that. Hammer. Oh, Departures. Okay. Have a really nice Thanks flight. So Thanks very much indeed. Take care. <laughs> no coming. <laughs> no coming. Time for some of that now, mate. See you later. Bye. Good evening.
evening. Katrina Leader coming. works on the EasyJet check-in. She's just ten days away from the biggest day of her life. Katrina's due to get married. I thought Julian was going to propose, actually, because we was having a laugh and joke, and um, I sort of went, yeah, right, and smacked his pocket, and I felt a bump, you know, a bulge in his pocket. And I thought, I wonder if he's got the ring in there, and I was a bit... If he hadn't proposed, I'd have been really gutted, because I really thought he must have that ring, because there was something hard in his pocket. <laughs> I was in my element that night. It was a nice feeling. In fact, I was a bit silly, because I said yes straight away. I should have let him sweat. <laughs> Yeah. As well as her big day, there's a big battle ahead for the 23-year-old. Katrina has renal cancer for the second time in her life, and the wedding's been brought forward. The thing is, June and I wanted to get married anyway. That wasn't a problem. The only reason why we originally booked it for September the 11th of next year was purely because money. You know, we wanted to get other things first, like a bigger house. But unfortunately, circumstances have changed now. It wasn't a big decision at all. I mean just get a loan and we've done it. We thought, sod the money, doesn't matter. It's what we wanted anyway. Without mum and dad, there's no way we could have organised in three weeks, no way at all. I mean, it's not that June and I aren't organised, but there is a lot to do and there's no way we can organise it in three weeks. And it's mum, Pauline, who administers Katrina's daily cocktail of drugs. Pauline and husband, Derek, can hardly take in what's happening. That one stung. Did it? Because there's a lot of this. You'd never believe that she was ill, you know? Mm -hmm. Only playing football, jumping. She even had a, what, was it a week before or something with him jogging around Willow Lake? You know, didn't even know that she had cancer again. Well, I think considering she had four litres of chemotherapy, she looks very well, doesn't she, after the first lot, eh? Yeah. Well, oh, I, I think those injections, Bill. Mm. I don't. I'm still. I feel very, very tired and shattered, but. I was shocked that I wasn't being sick every five minutes, you know. Um, I think the sickness pills they're giving me are very, very good, very strong. I mean, I'm not saying I don't feel sick, I still... Well, no, today I don't feel sick, but I, I have been feeling very sick. She's all upset because of her hair again. That's hence and why we're it. having this wedding. Uh, well... What, yeah, imagination, no, one or not. two. No, it's not. When I'm brushing my hair, it's coming out quite freely, but... It's not falling out enough for me to wake up and find it on the pillar. Oh. The best bit I am looking forward to is walking down the aisle of my dad. Oh. Because I'm proud of... I want my dad to be proud of me. It's not because I'm going to go and meet Julian. Yeah, <laughs> it's not because I'm going to go and meet Julian. Oh, I forgot he's going to be there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stand by. Check-in supervisor Jane Bolton has been called into departures. Yeah, Andy, Some famous faces seconds. are heading Get off to, to Scotland. Call me on 295. Thank you. Bucks Fizz are flying EasyJet. Today, the Eurovision sensations are having to carry their own equipment. I just wonder why they didn't put it in outside's baggage, because it's fragile down there, rather than making it carry it all this way. Well, usually they just put it through fragile, but today they said, we came in early as well, and if she'd said it to come up, we would have done, but okay. we went for coffee instead. Thank you, Actually, yeah, that is a good idea. Should we get that down the bottom? We'll get them out first, anyway, yeah. I think. You've pulled all the tags. No, you just, yeah, that. Which is the lightest one, and I'll take that. Okay. Yeah. You're going to struggle out there. Yeah, I can otherwise. see that heavy label on it, thank you. It's all a far cry from those chart-topping days. Just leave it at the bottom, and if we get you out when it's probably else, we'll give you time to carry it to the aircraft. Sort of recognise them, but I just said to Jane, as they come through the, as they come through the gate, don't pull, pull the cards, not the skirts. <laughs> don't go into song. She, rec she remembers the song. There's a load of stuff to bring out. I haven't thought so much because it all goes to go in the hole, do you know? No, it's already going in the hole. We've already pulled the tags. Oh, man, this sounds like chaos. It's all right. under control. I can't sing it this song today. I can sing it, but You gotta speed it up, and then you gotta slow it down. Cos if you believe that a love can hit the top, you gotta... <laughs> And that's it then. See, now he's got John Jim stealing his life. Yeah, he can't stand it. <laughs> the impromptu performance has alerted a fan, and Scottish grandmother Eileen moves in for an autograph. I don't go for autographs. I've only ever asked one person, that was Jeremy Beadle. Oh, no. He was lovely. He ask. is one of the nicest people I've ever met, I have to say that. He's a lovely person. Do you know, we had... Um, well, I did press Emma Rare, but one of the girls had a big to-do with Shirley Ann Field. Who? 
Surely, I know, I don't know what I said. Who is she? Well, she wanted to board on the knees. Who is she, then? An actress, but she wanted oh. to get on first. And she said, don't you know who I am? And I went... <laughs> wasn't very happy. Helen Mirren, oh, no, she was them. lovely. Yeah, Helen she Mirren is lovely. Nice. But, you see, she advertises um, Virgin, don't she? So what was she doing on our easy jet? It's cheaper. Is your name Amber? No, I live. This is Eileen. my granddaughter. Oh, Sam, oh, I see, right. Okay, so yeah. I've got a daughter called yeah. Amber as well. Yeah. Yeah. Luckily for the band, okay, there's I'll just the one that. signing. Well, I heard what he said. He's so rude, isn't he? Not really. Are you disappointed that you've met him? No, I'm not. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> not Did you one. get the check? <laughs> OK. Oh, well, I'll just put a little dollar aside there, then. Are okay. you clean in our bikini? Yes, in the soda fountain club. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, darling. Bye, darling. Thank you. That's our flight. We've got to go now. Right. Downstairs, grab a bag. Yeah. And your boarding card, yeah. please. Oh, boarding card. Right. Yeah. You've got me boarding card. Yeah, I, have to, I also take those. There you go. Right, I just need surnames, please. Uh, Nolan uh, Landay. There you go. Down the stairs, turn to your right, but grab a bag on the way. Don't forget your bag. Thank you. Bucks Fizz's equipment is finally on its way. A day packed with pop stars and pilgrims comes to an end for Jane. But the night is young for the EasyJet check-in girls. Bye. <laughs> I wouldn't rush normally, but one has an evening to go to this evening. No. Demand. Back at Jane's house, and the girls are about to hit the town. Jane's hastily arranged a hen night for bride-to-be Katrina. I'm going to go out tonight and have a good night. Take your mind off everything. Be with the friends. I think her mum's coming and her sister, so that would be nice, wouldn't it? <sighs> right. Let's get trying to see it. Let's. Okay. Let's go. The girls are out of uniform and out on the tiles. <laughs> but the star of the show is most definitely Katrina. We're the UK centre part. Especially going out for Katrina tonight and celebrate now. Oh, I'm just like to wish Katrina all the best for her wedding. Oh,